Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks so much for stopping by. Make sure you go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Once you subscribe, hit that notification bell. Join the Clockwork crew so you'll be notified every single time that I upload, which is every single Monday, like Clockwork. Guys, this is a very different video for me. I talked about it briefly in my last video. Um, so this is weird and very personal. So if this is your first time here on my channel, uh, hit the subscribe button. It's going to be something. I don't know that I need any disclaimers, any trigger warnings, but we'll put some here. I don't know. It's going to be a lot. So the title is not clickbait. As of this week, I have had a headache for five years. Not on and off. Continuous headache for five years. It's a lot when I meet new people and I have to explain certain things or if I take my medication in public or when they see this tattoo. It's a conversation that is had, but I've never had that conversation with all of you. I talk about it briefly, some videos, some posts on my Instagram story when it's like really bad. But something about September and when it started that kind of puts me in a really, really shitty place both mentally and like physically because it's crazy so i'm going to talk about it with you guys i'm hoping that this video will help me get through these last few weeks that i've had that have been horrible and maybe it may help some of you so while we talk about this <laughs> um and everything going on i'm going to be playing into makeup of course this is a makeup channel i try to keep it makeup related or whatever so we're gonna have a chit chat get ready with me style video i know another one get over it but it is going to be a real serious topic kind of i'm you guys know i'm, I'm gonna get my joke in so if i can will it be some laughs i don't know but um let's get into it if you guys are ready to god we gotta talk okay if you guys are ready to talk keep on watching All right, so you guys already seen that my brows are done, been done, lives been primed, okay? We don't waste time here. Guys, my brow tutorial is maybe, what, two years old now? Stop. Stop embarrassing me. I don't want to say who it is, but people have been writing me about your eyebrows because I know you personally. Um, if you feel like it's you, just go back to that video. Uh, just, please. But, so... We're gonna get into this video. We're going to have a talk, cause we need to talk, mostly me, this is mostly for me. I'm hoping this would be some sort of therapeutic to actually talk about it. When, um, when I meet new people and they ask me about it, it sucks because they always go, wow, when I have a headache, I can't do this and I can't do that or I feel really horrible, I really feel for you. That doesn't make me feel good. It doesn't. I know it's not meant to like have me think about it. For me, this has just been my life for the last five years. So like on a day to day, it doesn't bother me. But right now, these last few weeks, it's weighed very heavily on me. But what I'm not gonna do is cry on Tech Nine's internet. So we're gonna get started. I do have my iced coffee because I need it. And that's probably why my energy is gonna be all over the place just like, like that. But. We'll start with uh, this palette. Gonna be going into the brand new Nomad Cosmetics palette. I have been slacking with tutorials and like stuff, so it's not a full tutorial, but you guys will get to see me play with this palette. You guys get to see what it looks like. And I've already seen it. It's gorgeous. Ah. And the colors, see this is the, these are the colors that I kind of wanted in the last one. Look how beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. But yes, so I'm hoping we'll do like a fun look. I'm thinking something very tropical, avian, you know. I kind of, mmm, I wish that, oh, there's a blue that's meh. Okay, with butterflies, and I love butterflies. So uh, I kind of wish like the, the shimmers were like a little bit brighter, but let's get into it and let's get started. So, I said that and I didn't even try to get started. I think I want a lot of colors in this. So what I'm going to do is start with this Resplendent Quetzal. I don't know what that is. It'll be on the screen. 
And I'm gonna use my large fluffy blending brush. It's a, like a blue. So I'm gonna go into this and we're just gonna start. So yes, I have had the same headache for five years. Literally this week is five years. It kind of just like, as it started, I always had really bad headaches when I had a headache. And it got to the point where if I took a nap, I never liked taking naps because I would always wake up with a headache. So that was trash, always. This is actually like really pretty. Okay. And remember, no my cosmetic shadows are very soft. So go in with a light hand. Um, honestly, do your eyes first and don't even like knock off any excess. But yes, so it like I always had really bad headaches, but they went away. So it was, and it couldn't have come at like a worse time. Like I was working at this job, data entry. My ex was crazy and did not want me to break up with him. So he was being extra crazy. So now imagine dealing with real life crazy and real life stress. And that job was also like closing. It was crazy, but yeah. One day I just had a really bad headache and it just did not go away. So like after a few days, I was just like, okay, this fucking sucks. And it just was what it was. But it literally hit a full week, like a full seven days. And I was like, no, I have to do something. Now I'm someone who doesn't like to go to the doctor just to go to the doctor because I'm an adult and it's expensive for me. Hey, I'm not on my mother's insurance. I haven't been on my mother's insurance for a very long time. So once you hit a certain age now, I identify as 21, but you are like at like 26, you're like on your own for insurance. So I know a lot of people who don't even have insurance now. This is really pretty. Who still don't even have insurance or it took them a while to get insurance or it wasn't until COVID that they got insurance and got like their things together because of all the benefits being offered. So that quarantine did a lot for a lot of people but yeah so i don't like to go to the doctor just to go to the doctor i'm also jamaican very jamaican so like i know what tea is gonna fix it <laughs> there was no fixing this so i ended up going to like like i left work early i ended up going to urgent care and like it, it just got bad so i went to urgent care and i was a little uh I was afraid like a lot of places to tell you like, oh, it's stress. The physician that I saw at Urgent Care, she didn't do that. She did like some basic like neurological tests to see if like I was still good. Make sure I didn't have an aneurysm if I'm gonna be honest with you because symptoms were like that of an aneurysm and that scared a lot of people. I wasn't really like, I don't know how, I was all over the place. And it was like, here's a list of neurologists you that you really need to go to a specialist to really figure out what's going on. And you know what? I took it. I appreciated it. But there's not a lot of neurologists in general. And there's not a lot in New York City or in New York that take my insurance. So I had to really... Sorry, I don't know what color I'm going to go to next. I think I'm going to try this bright green. There's also a yellow. So I don't know. This palette is like crazy. Yeah, so I'm going to be all over the place. So just bear with me, please, and thank you. So, yeah. So I had a list of like neurologists that take my insurance. Yeah, no, this is beautiful. So I just ended up calling all of them. And I, as soon as I found one that had like, that was accepting new patients that did take my insurance, I made an appointment. Um, fortunately, like I said, because there's not a lot of neurologists, I had to wait two months for that first appointment to figure out what was going on. So urgent care couldn't prescribe me anything. I really couldn't take anything. I couldn't take Advil, I couldn't take any Tylenol. They told me to try um, Excedrin because it had caffeine in it. So that, and that was the other thing, like I drink coffee. And I had two months to like wait because I had to go. There's nothing I could do other than go to an emergency room and do you guys know what emergency room bills look like? I just wanna say that. But, which is trash, America is trash because do you hear my reason for not wanting to go to the doctor? Okay. But it got to a point where I couldn't take anything. And I tried everything. Like everyone's like, oh, cut this out of your diet. Cut this out of your diet. Maybe don't drink coffee. Try to drink coffee. Like I had weeks of, of just taking things out of my diet and 
putting things back in my diet or like adding. I tried everything. It got to a point where I was losing days. And that's thing that I don't know if a lot of you experience this. You may experience this with like depression where you lose days where you you can't do anything. You can't mentally prepare yourself or get yourself together to function, right? So because I had bills and I had a job and I was a supervisor of the job, like it, I forced myself to go to work and get things done. And I was doing that. But when I knew that I didn't have to get up, I couldn't get up. I couldn't move. I couldn't eat. I couldn't walk. It was so bad. Every step literally felt like my brain was shaking. Like it was a lot, okay? A lot. And one day, like while waiting, like, it was crazy. I it got to the point, makeup. I didn't even say what color. So this is called green vine snake, which it should have been called a green mamba, but whatever. Um, it literally got to a point where I was calling the office. Like I, to this day, I love Kathy, who's uh, my doctor's receptionist. I would call. And like, hey, like, do you have anything sooner? Like, no, he's completely booked up. But she really said that she was like, look, call once a week. If there's an appointment, we can move you up. And that's how I got my appointment a little bit sooner than two months. It was like two months still. So I finally go there, get the appointment. And my biggest thing, and I was so afraid of this because they like to tell people, and honestly, it's not a myth. They like to tell black women, they always say that we're overreacting. You know what I mean? Or we don't know what we know. But my thing was, I did not want them to send me home and tell me that it was stress. A lot of things can be attributed to stress. Like stress is very dangerous. It could literally kill you. This was not that. I literally woke up in the middle of the night one day and was just like, I woke up out of my sleep crying because I was like, this is not a regular headache. This is not what it's supposed to be. And you know your body, you do. So it was just a lot for me. But when I got there, I spoke with the neurologist. He was really, everyone was really nice. He even said it like kind of in a nice way. He was just like, yeah, okay, uh, we're gonna get you in for MRI. But it was kind of like, because again, I said the symptoms were like that of an aneurysm, he was kind of like, I guess it was kind of masking the worry, pretty much. So he's like, yeah, I'm gonna call and we're gonna schedule an MRI. At first, so this is crazy. He also gave me a prescription, thank God. So that made me feel better. He gave me a prescription and the way you're diagnosed with what I have, which is hemicrania continua, which is exactly how it sounds. I have a continuous headache on half of my head. So it does affect the right side all the time. What pisses me off, is when I tell people this and they're like, so like when you film for YouTube or when you go to photo shoots or when you do this, do you have a headache? I said all the time, okay? All the time, right now. It's so weird, but it is. it has become what is the norm for me that I can feel the difference on each side of my face. It's crazy. Um, yes, so I'm gonna go into the yellow now because I have to do my makeup. It's, this is probably gonna be a very long video. I don't even care. It is something that I have to do. I'm going into yellow that is called Toucan. And if you did not see my Toucan look and behind the scenes vlog, make sure you go ahead and check it out. The picture's also on my Instagram, so follow me there. Yep, shameless plug because I need a refresher from feelings and coffee. So, with the yellow, I think I want to bring it down here a little bit or like touch, I don't know. I might, uh, we'll see. We'll see what we're gonna do. So, yes. So, hmm, very faint, but it's okay. So you know what, I'm going to go ahead and since I'm gonna add the yellow in the end, I'm going to also add the pink. That way it'll also give me a nice little orange. But I really want, so this is probably be very similar to my toucan look, different colors but very beautiful but yeah so this is the other thing like insurances are trash my neurologist this is the first time i met him but he's been my neurologist throughout this entire process and the way they kind of diagnose you is if you like your 
the headache responds to indomethacin. That is what they give you when you have any headache condition first. If it doesn't respond, then all right, on to next one. For me, it responded and that's all I could take. But I was just very grateful. To this day, I'm grateful that I don't feel as much pain as I used to, but he's still uh, like trying to like, every time I speak to him, and I'll speak to him this week, <laughs> he um, always asks me how I'm doing. So like cluster headaches and hemicranial continuum, any chronic headache disorder is in the category of a word I cannot put on YouTube. Well, I cannot say on YouTube, I'll put it here. But there are headaches that make you want to unalive yourself. And I'm going to be completely transparent. I didn't really, like I did, I feel it. Not that that's what I want to do, but I understand why. Because this whole week, I've just been like, I want it to stop. Not only do I have a chronic headache, I also get other headaches with it. So I've talked about ice pick headaches, right? So ice pick headaches literally feel like I'm being stabbed in my head. In the last two weeks, I've had them, I think at least three days. It sucks. It's hard. It is scary. It's so scary to see. I know I had the flu that December before like anybody had COVID. Maybe I had COVID. No, I could taste things because it was around Thanksgiving and Christmas and I was <laughs> just eating it up. But, like, I'm in, like, Target with my mother picking up some stuff and, like, the whole ride, like, I'm just wincing over and over again. Like, it's scary to witness. So, it's garbage, garbage. But back to the insurance thing. My neurologist puts in the request or like with my insurance because this is something that has to be approved okay and they deny it right he immediately appeals it and like listen this is what it is she needs this it got approved how do I know I got a call while I was at work that my I had like and I think I was off pretty late I don't know but it was like you here's your appointment you need to go to this place as soon as you can. So my MRI was at like nine o'clock. Took me like 30 minutes to take all my piercings, guys. Crazy. But yeah, and it was scary. Like it was fine, like they make you comfortable. I went to Zwanger and they make you real comfortable. Give me socks, a nice, bl well, she gave me a blanket, but like my toes was out, so it was cold. Had headphones, had good music, and like you're, they're doing the MRI of my brain. But then, like, she's asking me questions, like, you okay? But then she, like, scared the fuck out of me because she was like, did you hit your head? And I'm like, no, not me, no. Why would you ask that? That kind of scared me, but it came back clear. So, that's that. No trauma there. But it's kind of like the nerves on the side of my face just do not stop firing. And it is my whole face. Like if it gets really bad, not only do I get other migraines and ice pick headaches, I like my jaw is, it, it hurts. My face physically hurts. This eye will water, feels a lot of pressure behind it. Even this nostril, my right nostril will be stuffy. Like it's crazy how like things are, but Literally ever since then, it was like I had appointment like every few months and then because that's what it is, now I go once a year just to check my dosage and like, I don't know, the last appointment last year kind of like, I don't know, I kind of felt it then too because literally... It's like the only thing I could do now is like take my medication, which it's in the same class as like Tylenol and Advil. It can mess up my stomach. How do I know that? Have I experienced it personally? I sure have. I've had an ulcer because of it and had to have an upper endoscopy. So yes, other medical complications. Oh, there's a flying hair. He's related to Perry. Terry, get on out. <sighs> Stressing me out. I'm gonna go to the pink now. I cleaned off my brush. This is called Orchid, and it's beautiful. This whole palette is gorgeous, but yes. And I'm going into this pink, and there's more of like a corally pink that 
I could have gone into, but I want to go into this one so that it could really make like a nice little orange here. So I'm going to start with this brush, but I'm going to switch to my E36. But yeah, so I just go now to check the dosage and change it. And the last thing, like, it's only like experimental procedures pretty much that I could try. Nothing's going to be guaranteed because it's not like a migraine. I do have migraine symptoms and I can still get a migraine on top of this. So that's one of the other things that was happening. Like I couldn't eat or anything and like bright lights would physically make me sick. To this day, like if my headache is really bothering me, these lights, all of this will make me throw up. Like I, I throw up. Like if you visit me, I use, or if you at like FaceTime me, honestly, most of the time I'm sitting in the dark. My laptop screen for work is really dim. My work, like at work, it's really dim. Even like my iMac, everything, like the brightness has to be almost all the way down. I can't take it at all. So it's crazy. It's a lot. And what kind of got me is like the only thing I could try that we recommend, like we try also adding in like natural supplements, right? That did nothing. It did, it looked like it was gonna do nothing. It did absolutely nothing. But I was willing to try that over like a brain injection because that is what was next step for me. Like to go to NYU with other, with headache specialists and get an injection up my nose into my brain, I guess to, I get for the nerves so that, I don't know. And I was just like, you know what? For something so, it's not guaranteed. And if it works, I'd have to do it. Oh, this is pretty. I'd have to do it. I might just go in with a little orange still. Sorry, I might have to do it like every few months or whatever. And I just feel like that's not like, I'll take what I can get right now, but I feel like that's too much of like a, a high risk to low reward ratio that I was just afraid of it. And like, I don't like things in my nose. I didn't wanna do that COVID test. I don't wanna do it. So I did it. So this week on my appointment, I don't know what would be said. Um, But on my chart, like he printed it out what he recommended for me and what like really got me and it still gets me. Like even though I know it is what it is, when it says likely lifelong, that fucking sucks. Okay, it sucks so bad. And that's where I'm at now. Like, I, I want it to stop. Like, right now, it hurts. It's not horrible, but it sucks. And, like, the journey I had to go through to get here to, like, the right dosage also sucked. I was on an experimental. Well, we were trying a medication that was uh, geared towards epileptic patients. Again, for the overactive nerves. But one bottle monthly 30 pills was a thousand dollars so i had to get like a voucher for it because it's a thousand dollars not only did it not help me out a lot it made me really sick and i was losing weight right me losing weight i don't weigh anything that sucked it was awful it's awful because people comment on my weight and it's just like why just why People very close to home said things and I you gotta check them I don't even care if you feel away because you on this video but that was like a shitty thing to do and I don't I don't care how you feel I'm not saying any names but it was really fucked up and I hate that people want to like apologize after you check them like nah check yourself it was just trash trash so all of it has not been a great experience i'm gonna go back and um add some more yellow but this is these colors are so pretty and i like them yes but yeah so that's where i'm at that's like catching you guys up so like honestly i lost a lot of days to this and even like sunday not when you guys have seen this, whatever. When I did my second session for my tattoo, like I can sit through, like I have a really high pain tolerance, but like a headache is not the same kind of pain. It's not. And it was just like, I was good. I sat through that, it was like a nine hour session. 
We were chilling, vibing, watching movies. We had some R&B playing. Like, it was really cool. And then my head started hurting. And he was like, oh, you sure you can, you sure we're going to finish? Like, I felt the energy shift. And I was like, yeah, I'm cool. And like, now I'm just going to clean up this mess that I made. I didn't want to say that it was because of my head. Like, towards the end, where it's like adding the white highlights, that shit does hurt because it's like the skin is like healing up. But it like, a lot of that was like, ooh. But it was really because I was feeling like, so much pain like I was getting stabbed in my head over and over again and it sucks it sucks so bad and I just didn't want to say anything to make anybody else feel uncomfortable like I really wanted to get through it I love the way my tattoo looked it's gorgeous and I just want to make sure like it heals properly and that it was done but man it's a lot so because I've been talking a lot and I don't really care. I'm going to cut the crease. Again, I want like a more of an avian look. So I'm going to bring it um, down past my um, inner corner. And I think I'm going to put a green on the lid. Now, I really wish, probably like the darker green. I really wish there was like another bright shimmer. If you guys can see, the shimmers are pretty like don't. I don't really care for that. But maybe I'll do like the magical mist. I'm not sure. But I'm going to cut the crease and come right back and we'll talk some more about this. I guess. I'll be back. Did I take about an hour just to cut the crease and put a shimmer on this eye? I sure did. I, sh I sure did. I really just needed a, a minute to relax and decompress and like get myself together and listen to some music. But um, let's move forward with this. And um, we're almost done. I think I'm just gonna show you guys, like apply the shimmer and how it goes on on camera. And I think I'm just gonna finish up everything off camera because this is gonna be too long. And there's a lot more that I could say that I probably should not. Let's skip. So I just used a flat synthetic brush after I cut the crease. Like again, I said I was going for more of an avian look, so I brought it down in the inner corner and up. I'm going to wing out my eyeliner. It gets lost down here because it is green on top of like a teal blue. But once I do my eyeliner, I'll definitely highlight that and it'll look great. I'm going to be using a gel eyeliner just because it is more intense and that's what I want. For the lower lash line, I'm probably just going to not exactly mimic the the crease but i'm going to just bring out the pink and add orange because i really want to use the orange i yeah i actually um off camera i actually did go ahead and mix the pink with a little bit of that purple that violet sabering sabering i don't know sabering i don't know what that is the violet sabering look i don't know this purple right here is beautiful i just tapped it a little bit and then went to the pink just to deepen the outer corner. But I'm just going to be using the straight pink. Straight pink as if there's a gay pink. I'm only going to be using the pink on the um, lower lash line with the orange. And probably do like a yellow water line highlight, right? That's what we're going to do. I'm trying not to make this too long. But I want to show you this shimmer. It's called Green Mountain and it went on beautifully. I added nothing to it. But yeah, so that's just uh, how I've been feeling trash um this is helping a little bit maybe it'll help once it's out and you guys can like interact and tell me how you guys feel about it or how does it make you feel knowing this like in depth or like what are some things that you have to deal with that like causes you to lose days because it sucks losing days and you like even now it's so bad like i've been like canceling plans um, I had tickets to the VMA pre-shows and I just couldn't go. Like I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling like getting myself together. I wasn't feeling like being around people or like, and I love shows. I just, I couldn't do it. And I felt like I kind of took that away from Raccoon who was my guest, but I'm sure he understands. And it's just like something like that. Like even, all right, I'm gonna say this, right? Cause it would have already happened. I'm pro like my raccoon's also having a game night, but I, I don't know that I'm not gonna go. So at the time of recording this, I don't know if I'm gonna go. Check my like follow me on Instagram and check my stories. <laughs>
to see if I went, but I, I'm not feeling it. Like being around, like that's the shitty thing. Sorry, look, look, I'm, I'm a real makeup artist. Look, look, I'm doing it. Um, that's the real shitty thing is like, you don't really want to be around with people when you feel like that. It's like with depression, like you probably should be around people, but like you just, you can't bring yourself to be social. So I'll take days off from like social media and I'll take days off from people and just put my phone on like airplane mode for the entire day. And just like probably like try to do things that I enjoy. Like I'll read, I'll watch, like I binge watch a whole season of something, probably anime if I'm beyond with you. And just like try to chill. Like my friend and tattoo artist has a coloring book for depression and anxiety. Do I sit down and color for hours in this book and have a show on? Yeah. It actually does help. I'll put the link down in the description. It's not like me just supporting my friend. Like that's just one book. You can grab a bunch of them. There's a ton on Amazon, but this is one that like, that's what I have. I bought it to originally just to show support. It's inexpensive, only $10. I got twistable crayons with it, but he recommends the twister color pencils. It's just that on Amazon Prime, the crayons came first and it was like a 50 box. Just saying, and it was cheap. So you can check that out in the description box, but it definitely has helped me just to like sit down and like kind of like not think about anything, you know? So I've just been trying, I haven't been able to skydive like I want to every time I've been in the weather's been bad. So I'm sure that that has not helped how I feel. And then work is just stressful. So that like, I don't have any food triggers or like not very many environmental triggers. That'll make my headache worse, but like stress sucks. So if I'm stressed out because of work, that's like the worst kind. And it just like sets off a whole range of like feelings because right now, honestly, my main thing is I'm tired of it. Like, and I know it's because I'm stressed out and there's a lot of things that I want to do and I'm not being able to do it. And it's just like, it's a combination of so many different things. Look at how I'm just doing this and I'm wasting y'all's time. My bad. But I don't know what to do. It's not something that's gonna go away. So it's like, when I stop to think about it, it's fucking trash. And I, I've said it all for like the last two weeks, like I just wanted to stop. And I know that that's like a, that could mean so many different things to so many different people. That's why it's in the range, in the class of headaches that people want to unalive themselves. Because that's how you feel. And once you start to try to make it stop and you do all these other things, that's when it becomes very dangerous. But there's nothing that I could do. I'm not going for this brain injection. It's just not happening. I have a friend that works like, um, I think he's like a tech assistant at NYU in their neurology department. And he's like, yeah, I'm gonna cure you. He's like, have you tried this? Have you tried this? And he even like saying like the injection, like don't even do that. Like, no injections. And I'm like, okay, great, because I wasn't going to. But um, this week, I'll see what my neurologist says and what he recommends. The crazy thing is, is that I did tell him, like, before, because I, I don't go outside. So the pandemic was, like, still pretty bad last year around the time that I went to him. And I told him, because my appointment is usually in August, but it got pushed to September because he got plans. He got life. Sorry. That is, <laughs> that is why. And he was like, you know, you can go outside. Like, you won't be, like, you're not high risk. And I'm just like, yeah, I'll try. But he's, he's really saying that because it is in that class of headaches. So he has to see how I am because it, it can. Like, this is the only year that it's really weighing on me. And I can't, like, I just can't. But I did tell him I was going to go skydiving because I can see it from my house. Now when I go, I can tell him that I got my license and that I went 25 times. So that's pretty cool. And he's always really dope and it just sucks i'm like the youngest one there he has a lot of like neurodivergent patients like so i'm, I'm really just the youngest one there but he wears like really cool socks to keep them engaged and I, i'm engaging with the socks too i love socks but yeah it's just really stressful and like shitty and i don't know that's really how i feel so sometimes playing in makeup works but do you guys see how pretty this green is? That's what I was supposed to show you guys and I did not. I think I don't have my thing to clean it off. As a highlight, I think I'm going to, sorry. But do you guys see how it kind of gets lost down here and you can't see it as much? 
I'm gonna go ahead and outline it with my eyeliner. I'm gonna clean this off. I'm going to go into the lighter green with this Wildlife Wonderland. Oh, there's like two pinky corals in here. I didn't even see that. But I'm going to use this as, it's a very light green, very similar to the green in my uh, Zulu palette that I live. And I'm going to use this as like a little brow bone highlight. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. But yeah, so that's where I'm at. Um, I'm gonna finish off camera. Thank you guys for listening to me. Um, and no, this is not like a made up story or a story time. This is at my like actual life, what I go through. And when I was saying before, like it makes it hard to wanna go outside and interact with people, especially new people. When I first started, my medication schedule was three times a day um on lower dosages now i'm on a higher dose with twice a day and i can also take like the lower dosage twice a day if needed so total i can take like four pills a day which is a total of 200 milligrams of indomethacin but i try to never let it get that far if i have to take two of the extra 25 milligrams i know there's a problem so that's that's when it gets really scary for me so at first it was just like i literally carry on a, a my little pharmacy as i call it of my prescription because i i need it it's something that i have to have and if things get really bad everything else that i'm doing stops and it's kind of shitty like your social meter runs out but it's like physically i can't function and at first it was like i didn't like it's a hard conversation to have like i make it very lighthearted. if you know me i'm always i can make a joke at a funeral like i shouldn't i have done it i shouldn't but I'm always gonna get my joke in. It's just still something that's hard to like. If I sit down, if I talk about it, like it can be regular, like regular conversation, because it, again, it is something that I've just been having to deal with. But like right now, like if I stop and think about it, yeah, it sucks. And right now, I really feel it, and I feel it right now. Like my eye, I can't explain it. Once it starts to get really bad, it feels like someone elbowed me in my eye. But like yesterday, so it's really sore. That's how it like starts to get really bad. But yeah, it's trash and I hate it. I don't hate it. Like, I guess it's a part of my story and like whatever. I don't let it like, I don't like to tell people about it. I don't want you to look at me differently. Not that I think people would, but it's just like immediately they feel bad. If anybody's ever had a really bad headache, they're like, oh my God, this is what you deal with all the time. And it is. So thinking about it is what really has me down and then not being able to do things that I want to do sucks. So it kind of stopped me from going outside for like years, honestly, years. That and my ex is really crazy. And I have not, I mean, we're not ready to talk about that yet because let me tell you that channel, this channel will blow up off of that alone. But dealing with him when this started like didn't help either. So yeah. But thank you guys for listening. I'm going to go ahead off camera, just finish up the look. I don't know what, I, you guys know I always come back to something crazy. But for the most part, that's what I'm doing with the eyes. If I add any accessories, I'll let you guys know when I am back. final look uh the details will be in the description box as far as what lashes color contacts lip combo you guys know it i don't have to write it at this point but yes i love how it came out of course i went with these lashes it just i just want a very avian toucan like look i'll put a close-up somewhere of like the liner of course i did bring it downward in the inner corner but it's kind of like a double eyeliner thing going on so it actually looks like a toucan beak i also added just two little gems that was just because i wanted to i didn't really talk much about the palette because that's not what it was about but if you couldn't tell i love it i love the colors i love the color story uh a step up from the last one that was like the lavenders i feel like it was too ashy the tones and like very pastel and not like as pigmented as i wanted but this is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous the entire palette i love it so much i love this eye look um and thank you guys for listening i actually do really appreciate it this video was not easy for me to film especially with how i'm feeling right now how i've been feeling the last two weeks it's just been a lot so from i literally started filming maybe at like five o'clock 
it's taking me it's it's almost nine now i just needed usually i try to like knock the videos out whatever I do off cameras pretty quick i needed extended breaks for this just to catch myself and like just woosa and just so i just had a lot of music playing in the background which i always do but like even after i was finished i probably finished my makeup maybe 30 minutes ago in its entirety and i comb my hair but um yeah i just needed to sit because it's it's been a lot but that is it for this video again thank you guys so much for watching for listening for tuning in every monday like you guys said it i know you did if you guys are going through anything similar, just let me know in the comments down below. Remember how I started off when I was talking about skydiving, that I just wanted something for me that I needed. Everyone needs something, a hobby outside of their passions because they, once it becomes work and if they get intertwined, it kind of gets lost. You need something else for you that's going to bring you back and just recharge that drive that you have, the creativity, just anything because I've been feeling really really uninspired unmotivated and now this just kind of like kicked me when i was already down so it's been hard but i do appreciate you guys listening and watching no i'm not up here crying on tech night's internet it's not gonna happen y'all not gonna catch me but this was a very emotional video for me again it is something that does affect my mental health and like obviously my actual health so it's a lot Especially when one triggers the other and they kind of just bounce off of each other and make things the world's worse. Like, I swear it is. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. I feel really good about this look. This is kind of what, like, I feel like maybe if the other palette was this one, I probably would I probably would have felt a lot better. But, again, after one get ready with me when I thought that I was, like, I felt like I wanted to, like, I needed a break and I wanted to be done. And then I gave you guys an update. I was like, you know what? I'm in a really good place. I feel so much better. Literally, immediately after that, I was, like, shattered, pretty much. But thank you guys for watching. I know it was a lot. Just engage with me in the comments down below. We'll start a conversation. You guys can write me on Instagram as well. Just don't be weird. Instagram is here. But that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, and I feel like we know each other now like you guys all up in my business so you should hit that subscribe button once you subscribe hit that notification bell join the clockwork crew so you'll be notified every single time i upload which is every single monday like clockwork thank you so much guys for watching until next time that's like the worst outro ever uh Pimps don't cry. Pimps don't cry.